morning. We've got a cloudy morning. I don't think we'll get any sun at all during the day today, and I think it's going to rain more. It could be another half an inch of rain for a lot of us. Yesterday we had 37 hundredths of an inch of rain. Actually, that, that was the sat, uh, the rain that sort of tapered off at night into early yesterday morning. Um, and for the monthly rain total, now we're above average again. We're doing this again uh, for the year. We're above average by five inches of rain. Everything is saturated, it makes it easier to produce fog, and we've got it now mainly on the south and western side of town. We seem to be doing okay for the Richmond metro area and points north, but be ready. There's some fog out there, and here comes the rain. This is a rain gear day. Boots, rain boots. If you have them, umbrellas, raincoats, the whole thing. I think it's just going to kind of rain through a large chunk of the day. Now this is the hourly forecast. This is by 11 o'clock, and and the rain is. Held off for now, but I think it moves in sometime around eight or nine this morning, and then it's just going to rain for a lot of us through the day. It's kind of a midday time frame. I'm not saying the rain's going to stop, but it could kind of slow a bit as that chunk east kind of gives way to the rain that's pulling in from the west, and there's rain on the ride home. Into the evening, the rain chance slows, and I think tomorrow morning, although there may be some clouds to start, the rain chance is actually kind of low tomorrow. So today, a wash out of a day hasn't moved in yet, but once it does, it'll just kind of keep raining on or off. Tomorrow, much better day for outdoor activities. It'll still be wet, but I think we'll dry up puddles into the midday and afternoon with a northerly breeze and some sun coming out tomorrow, but not a lot. We likely are going to stay pretty cloudy with just a few little glimmers of sun from time to time. The rain chance tomorrow, 40%. That's in the early morning, but a lot drier tomorrow than today. The precipitation forecast again, holding on to that little 40% for the early morning. Dry Friday, a soaker Saturday, another batch of rain. So it's today, Wednesday, and then again on Saturday. Here's the Saturday hour by our forecast. That rain could come in during the day, and there's some pretty positive signs that although it's a wet Saturday evening, look what happens as we wake up early Sunday. This will zip through. Now there's... You know, timing will be tweaked as we get closer, but that's a big part of our weekend story. And that Sunday, although breezy, looks like it will be dry. So a soaker today, a chance at a sprinkler shower early tomorrow, partly sunny Friday. We've got Fridays are verified best of the week with relatively light winds, highs in the low 60s. And the sun comes back out. A soaker on Saturday, that rain is likely. And that actually, when I say a soaker, maybe that's overdoing it a little bit. That might be about a quarter of an inch of rain. But it's gone for Sunday. Big news there. And then for next week, it looks dry. And next week looks like it'll be warmer than average. Sarah, back over to you. All right, Andrew, thank you. The U.S. and Jordan are providing